It's September 15, 2012, and I'm testing the code right now on the second picture plate required for the operation that I worked on last weekend. All right, the first countersink or counter bore is being made for the uh, bolt clamps right now. Should be directly over the T-slot. Looking good. It's okay that it's not on that cross that uh, or the center line of those two marks. Those two marks are there to indicate the uh, center of the plate. I love coolant hose repositioning. Sounds like it's finishing the hole right now. We'll move up to a nice high clearance plane and start start cutting the pocket. There could be some chatter. I haven't run this tool path before, so it's not play. It's a pretty significant cut. It's only going to get heavier. Coidal tool So the whole milling operations are complete. I didn't bother to videotape those. I've uh, done that a couple times, particularly with the first fixture plate. Uh, but the pockets are good. Pleased with the finish. Worked out very well, at least with the fit. The size of everything worked nicely. <coughs> Excuse me. Get it back in focus here. That would be a wide, uh, a wide width of side. I think it's 75% width of side with a pro-coidal tube out. That's what that looks like. Yeah, that's a A lot of coolant splashing coming out of the narrow pocket, getting all over the place. So it's working out the basic shape of one of the bosses here.
So the general shape is now finished up, with the exception of this one side it's about to do. Cutting down the cusps on the other side right now. For the main bosses, and now it's working on the profiling operation for the uh, pilot bosses for the parts that are going on to the uh, fixture. So this depth of cut is uh, an eighth of an inch, 0.125, whereas the last depth of cut was a quarter inch at 0 0.250. Coil all too fast. The first step is complete. I'm getting ready to start the second, which is going to involve the finishing operations, the surface finishing operations of this surface on all four, and then it'll do the profile around each of the uh, bosses. Uh, that's not the final profile. That's coming next uh, in the operation after I measure the, each of the bosses so I know exactly how big they are, and then I can adjust the size accordingly. The machine is performing the uh, face milling operations, if you will, on the last of the four main bosses. This should be done momentarily. Uh, and then it'll do the profiling operation around the outside of the pilot bosses. And then that'll be it for this cutter. And on to the next uh, operation, which is the uh, chamfering operation and then some drilling. And that'll be it. And now the chamfering operation is about to begin. Once again, it is blowing, pulling everywhere. Get some distance away here. And now we're on to the spot drilling operation. Second to last operation. And now it's time for the deep drilling operation. The goal is not to drill. all the way into the table, because I'll be thinking about that. I'm pretty sure I'll know if it'll happen. This is a 16th of an inch pack. I kept it shallow since I was doing deep drilling. 